Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I did these Valentine's inspired French nails. I know it's a little bit late for Valentine's Day, but I hope you enjoy anyways. I'll also be testing out these Rosalind Poly Gels. Full disclosure, I did get these sent to me, but this video is not sponsored. All opinions are still my own. I just did some photos for the brand and that was it. I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. Here is the little box that it comes in. You can get these on Amazon for $12.59. It comes with these two poly gels, soft pink and white, and each come with one fluid ounce and a little book of instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching these, starting with white. And please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. I also wanted to quickly mention that I sell custom press-ons, and just in case if you're interested, I'll have that link down below. Now back to the video. So here's that color. And the moment of truth, this is the soft pink. I wonder if it's gonna be transparent. Normally poly gels like this can be pretty transparent, these lighter pink colors. So I guess we'll see. Ooh, it doesn't look like it's very transparent. That looks like a really nice cover color actually. I like it. We got our pink and our white. As you can guess, I'm gonna be doing a French set with this. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tips on and I'll be right back. I have all my tips on. I'll be using this standard poly gel brush. It doesn't really matter which one you use. And I'm gonna start on my thumb using that pink color to get down our nail bed. I'm using 70% isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution today. And I'm just gonna start patting that into place working out our smile line and making sure everything is nice and smooth. I'm doing a thin layer at first and we're gonna build it up with some more layers. I just wanna make sure that everything cures all the way through, especially since this poly gel is not transparent. You really wanna make sure that the light gets through to all the poly gel. So I'm just slowly working that into place. I'm gonna be doing the thumbnail in its entirety first, just so I can get a feel for how this is gonna go, maybe learn from my mistakes along the way. Here I'm adding another layer of the pink just to help build up the nail a little bit and give the poly gel a chance to cure all the way through. And now that I have the nail bed finally done, I'm gonna start filing just to make sure that that smile line is nice and sharp just the way that I want it. Now before we go in with the white poly gel and start filling in the tip area, I'm taking some white gel polish and I'm painting the smile line. I find that especially with poly gels, it's kind of hard to get that really crisp line when doing a French set like this. So adding in that white gel just on the smile line will make sure that it comes out so much sharper, give you a nice clean line. And as you can see here, I took some of the white poly gel on the tip and I'm just patting that all into place doing a thin layer at first and then going in with some more later on, making sure that it cures all the way through. So far, I'm really impressed with the performance of these poly gels. They've been super easy to work with and they really don't slip around too much at all. I've had that issue in the past with some other poly gels that I've tried. If they sit for too long, they start slipping and sliding into your cuticles and just not staying where you want it to stay. These are stiff enough that they stay where you want, but they're not so stiff that it's hard to work with. Also, I did want to quickly mention that if you are interested in these poly gels i have a discount code for an extra five percent off it'll be linked in the description down below along with the code so you can go check it out if you're interested as you can see i just really quickly hand filed i went ahead and did the rest of the nails i love how it came out here i'm just applying a base coat to all the nails just to help prep for the nail art make sure that the surface is nice and smooth And once we have that, I'm using this nail art brush. It's actually double-ended with a dotting tool on the opposite end. And I'm using that dotting tool to help make our hearts. I'll be doing some pink and red hearts on the white part of our pointer and ring nail. Also, I'll link everything that I'm using, including these nail art brushes and the gel polish that I use. I mostly like to use Beatles gel polish, but I do have some of McCart's and Model 1's as well. If you're interested in checking out anything that I'd recommend or anything that I use, you can check out my Amazon storefront. I'll have that link down below as well. It has all my nail recommendations on there, so that'll be down below if you're interested. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up that heart design now.
Once we're done with that, I'm taking McCart's rhinestone gel and I'm gonna add that to the middle and pinky nail. I'm taking some little tiny red rhinestones and I'm gonna be adding some caviar beads as well. This part was a bit tedious, so I did most of it off camera, adding in the pink ones. Now, here we go. I love how that looks with the caviar beads. Now onto the thumbnail. I found these old water slide decals in one of my drawers and I just felt that this little itty bitty love was perfect. So I'm just cutting that out. I'm gonna peel off the plastic and let it sit in some water for about 15 seconds or so. When I pull it out, I was not too careful about it and I kind of messed it up a little bit. As you can see, I'm struggling to get it to lay right. I use my finger to hold it down and sort of push it around slide where I want it to go. And using some tweezers, I was able to straighten it out. Even though it was a little bit of a struggle, I love how this looks. I think it's so cute to have that little love right on the tip. It matched the theme perfectly. I took some of McCart's rhinestone gel again and I'm adding a red and pink bead with some caviar beads just by the cuticle and when I'm finally all done with that I'm gonna be applying some top coat to the rest of the nails so here's how the nails came out I love how they came out I thought these poly gels were so easy to use and I felt this design was simple enough that anyone really could do it any beginner nail artist it was so simple and so easy Perfect for Valentine's Day, even though I'm a little bit late. <laughs> even before adding any nail art, I just loved how that French looked with just the base coat on it. I thought it came out so, so nice. Like I said before, I'll link everything that I used down below in case you were interested. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.